it is very important for every society to recognize what is the legitimate role of the government. Yes, there are private goods and services in private markets. So like you say, you can buy petrol, you can buy orange juice, you can buy shoes, you can buy clothes. So that's where the private markets function. But there are several areas where the private markets will not function. And this happens, one, when there, when there are a lot of what economists call externalities, when the public benefits are not captured by this. Schooling, basic schooling is a classic example. You, schools can be provided by the private sector. But if you leave it to the private sector and say that only those children whose parents can afford the fees can send their children to school and others can't, you will find that not all children go to school. So there is a huge social benefit attached to it saying that all children should go to school. We need a fully literate society. So you see a role for the government there. But there are also other goods which, have, which are called public goods where it is, they have to be provided but nobody will be willing to pay for it take clean air. The environment is a classic example. Who is going to pay, pay for clean air? If you leave it to the market, nobody will. Clean drinking water. You know, how do you prevent pollution? How do you look at the impact of climate change? So the whole field in the field of environment, what are called public goods, if you go and ask people, oh, are you willing to, uh, uh, should India conserve its forests? Yes, we must conserve our forests. Uh, how much will you be willing to pay for to conserve the forest? Well, why should I pay anything? So, do you want the beach to be clean? Yes, I want the beaches to be clean. How much will you pay to keep the beach clean? Well, you'll say, why should I pay? So, people really forget, and I think that's a very important point, that many things that we value in life and we enjoy are, are because of these collective benefits have to be provided by the state. So the market, private individuals won't contribute. The question is therefore, how do you, how does the state provide? It has to be forcibly done through taxation. And so the government has to constantly, and therefore when it comes to accounting for the, your effect, you have to constantly say, hey, listen, this is what we are doing with your money in the, your own country. And that, that sense of uh, accountability is missing, or is not strong enough in many countries. Because they are not able to say with great confidence that, listen, the quality of the environment has improved. And this is what we have done. The quality of schooling has improved. This is what we have done. Which means that you really have to go back to what we were saying, that you need both an accounting of inputs, it's not just where money is being spent, but an accounting for outcomes and development outcomes.